Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Reunion Part 1. Y'all know how they do it. They give us the bullshit in the beginning, and then they kind of turn it up towards the middle, and then they give us a part two, and it's a little bit better. But all of this shit could have been condensed to one. Um, I don't know why the fuck we had Wiggle Scott Young hosting the damn reunion. I really did not want her to host it. I really wanted somebody else. I really was hoping somebody else would host the reunion. But I'm not surprised. Mona Scott is just, I, I, she's just not that person to host reunions because she has too much power. It's like the principal being in the damn cafeteria. Everybody, everybody going to be quiet. Ain't nobody going to have a conversation because they scared somebody going to get sent to the office or sent to time out or some bullshit. So, nigga Scott Young, you just need to find somebody that consistently hosts the reunions. I don't know. Maybe you need to find somebody, a blogger or somebody. Or it's, it's too many people out here, Mona Scott, for you to be doing every goddamn thing. And I just, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm going to drag your ass throughout this damn review, even though I love you to death. Um, Because you are the pimp, are the all pimps, honey. Um, I, I, Like we start off, Mona Scott trying to let us know the tea. Like, you know, when we first filmed, you know, y'all, you know, were intertwined. Everybody was talking to everybody and everybody was doing stuff. Mona Scott, we know this shit is a facade. We know all this shit is fake as hell. Like, go on, stop trying to make it seem like it's real, honey. It's not. Um, why are you hosting it? I'm still ups upset about that. Um, I don't understand. It, it, and Mona Scott, I hated your outfit. I hated it. You would, I don't know what type of shit you would like. You was going to a dead-ass ballroom or some shit like. Or, I don't know. You Were you heading to a debutante ball with all this fake-ass shit on? Mm-mm. I don't know. So, Princess walk up fucking damn tall pair of khakis looking ass. She walking up to my son, wake up. What's up, fake asshole? Girl, you not fucking Jocelyn. You not Jocelyn Hernandez, the motherfucking baddest pooch on the planet. You are not her. Son, what's up, fake asshole? Like, girl, go sit your ass down. There will never be a Jocelyn Hernandez. There will never be. And you're not yet, Princess. You didn't even have enough time to even try to be. I think you had, like, two scenes this whole episode, like, this whole season. Like, and the, the highlight was you getting dumped in the damn pool. And you know what, Princess? I was going to wait till, towards the middle to drag your dumb ass. But I think it's very stupid. And you a dumb ass, illiterate ass fool for a man to be sitting here pushing your ass. Even if he didn't push your ass in the pool, he Bo Jackson, whatever the fuck Ray J wanted to call it, okay? And you tr must have tripped over his dick or something and you fell in the damn pool. Like, there's no way in the hell a man that I'm dating, I'm talking to, da 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 da, and, and we're in a relationship and we are, and then I fall in the fucking pool and he don't help me to get out. And then you walk out, like, and I'm laying next to you, I'm gonna hold it down. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you people. And I'm not gonna just say women because it's me and two. Always want P.O.P. holding it down for what? Why y'all holding it down for somebody? I'm going to hold it down for him. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to hold you down. Why? Why? You're not getting paid for it, dumbass girl. Okay? Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I did die laughing when uh, what's the name said that, you know, somebody has, I can't think of who it was. Somebody has said that that I guess somebody choked on Young Bird's dick or some shit. Girl, we seen the dick, honey. Who was it? I can't think of who it was. What was it? Somebody saying Tierra had choked on the dick, or was it what's the name with choke on dick? Like, girl, we seen your dick, Young Bird, and, and ain't nobody choking off that mother unless they swallowed it too fast, honey, and then you know, you know, you lose your breath, but you know, that's almost a choking on water. You can choke on almost anything, honey. I mean, that don't mean it's big. I mean, girl, come on now, you swallow too fast. You a choke. I mean, girl, young bird, we seen your dick, and that shit was not Photoshop. You look like a little dick ass dude. Like you just give me that vibe. It's, you have no cooth about yourself, so you just like a, a small dick. Like you just a loud ass dog for pretty teeth and pretty eyes and pretty little ears. I just want to pet you. You're so cute. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going. I, I just. I just didn't understand for the life of me why Princess was sitting next to Ray J. Like, girl, you fell, you did a fucking nosedive in the damn pool, and you fell in with your clothes on, and he walked off, and you just sitting here laying on him. Like, girl, you look dumb as hell. You get the dumb, dumb hoe of Love and Hip Hop Award because you look stupid as fuck. You look even more stupid than Hazel E not seeing that young bird don't give a fuck about her ass. Like, you even more stupid because... You sat next to his ass. And I know all that shit was orchestrated. Oh, my God. Tear me. 
And I knew all this shit was whack and fake as hell because then they weren't together. I, I just knew it. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I, Ray, Ray J, you, it must be, I don't, uh, Ray J, you talk a lot of shit. We all know you have a big black dick, okay? We know you have a big juicy dick. But your bank account is dry, honey. I don't know why you keep talking. Like I don't know what it is with you men, baby. This is 2014, okay? Gas must be it going down a little bit. But, bitch, let me tell you something. You can have a big dick, but you got to have some money to go with it, too. You hoes going to fuck around, and y'all going to be 40, 50 years old, and you're going to still be working three jobs to survive, laying up with these big dick, broke-ass men, honey. I'm trying to tell you. You ain't going to have them with a bad back. And your ass ain't gonna be able to go to the hospital to get no goddamn, no shit for it. No type of anything because your ass ain't gonna have no health insurance. That's another thing I wanna talk about. You black folks, you people. Let me say you people because for some reason when I say black folks, folks start getting their feelings in. Just don't like black people. Da, da, da. Girl, sit the fuck down. I go in on everybody. I don't discriminate, okay? I, I, I don't like people, period. Okay, so I'm gonna roast everybody. At. I'm just playing. I love people, just some stuff I don't like. But I do get tired of seeing us come in places and we be having a mouthful of goals and a mouthful of everything, just money tattoos everywhere, money just wasted on bullshit, but don't have health insurance or don't have life insurance. I cannot stress this out enough. Y'all turning up so goddamn much and you're going to be turning the motherfucking goddamn jaw, okay, or something because we're going to sell your damn parts just to pay to have a memorial or something for your ass. It's really, really pitiful that some of y'all walk around here with the latest fashions, but y'all have no health no health insurance. Y'all have no life insurance. And it's just really, really sad. And, and, and I and I see it so much and I can't I can't exp I can't talk about it enough because it's sad. People walking up to me uh, I ain't, uh, it ain't free. No, there's no such thing as free, motherfucker. We paying for it. If it's government insurance or what, somebody's paying for that. And it doesn't make no sense for your ass to have a, a body full of tattoos and you can't even pay for the shit that's important. I don't understand that. That's crazy to me. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy, my black brothers. I see y'all too much. Y'all look foolish as hell. Walking in somewhere and you ain't got no money to pay for your goddamn medication. You ain't got no health insurance, but you ride around on rims. That shit is pathetic. I don't want to talk about it no more. I want to go back. Let's talk about fun size dicks, okay? Young bird, we seen your dick. I thought it was fun as hell. What's the name? You are you are mess as hell. Mona Scott, you mess as hell. You kept making jokes about the motherfucking fun size dicks and all that type of shit. And Ray J getting all that time. I said, ah, you talk about my dick. Because, you know, women do. Some women do. And men do, too. Um, Talk about, you know... After the fact they broke up with somebody, the dick game was terrible, the, or the pussy game was whack, and all that type of shit, but you were blah, 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 trying to P.O.P. holding it down, and that shit was crazy as hell, but we've seen the receipts for your, your dick, young bird, so yeah. And Ray J, you, with your barring ass, you keep talking about some, you got a big dick, but you can't swipe that whole damn motherfucking credit card machine and get shit, okay? You can't swipe that motherfucker. Your big dick didn't get you shit with Kim Kardashian, because she's still sitting higher, and you on this damn show, try, I mean, acting like you driving Lambos when that Floyd Mayweather gave it to your dumb broke ass. Okay, you stupid ass fool. Oh, that shit was funny as hell. What else to talk about? Um, It's just the fact that, you know, and, and, and young bro, you seem like you were in your feelings because you kept saying, you kept like you were pissed off. Talking about some way, well, you know women do that. But you do the same thing. You just called, you just sit up here and told Hazel E that you were a, a Melly and Fiona or whatever and four o'clock fuck and all that, but you were kissing her all in the mouth and doing all that type of shit. If you didn't like her, you don't want to be with her and all that type of shit. Why were you kissing her in the mouth? Why you kiss? I didn't understand it. Why, 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 why? So she can't talk about your little dick, but you can talk about her being ugly. But that shit was a fool. She said she can stick that dick up, his, up her nose. Child, that shit was a fool. I believe it. 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 Um, what else was going on? Hazel, when she jumped up, was about to beat Masika's ass. And she was so funny. She threw that motherfucking shawl. She threw that shawl off, and she was about to go for Masika. Hey, Masika, you talk a lot of shit, and you are funny as hell, but I feel like Hazel would have beat the dog shit out your ass. And Masika, you can't too much talk about folk with plans of surgery, because, baby, I've seen the picture on, on, I took a picture of your ass, put it on Instagram. That damn, when you got up, you were arguing with Hazel, your ass looked terrible. Your ass looked like, 
it looked like you had a whole, had a whole bunch of weight and you just lost weight really, really fast. And it was just sagging, girl. It looked like a when you know you put the little pot roast in the damn bag in the damn oven. It looked like somebody just stuck a like a knife and it just started deflating, but it was still immediately like, girl, your ass looked terrible. But baby, your lips do not move. That shit was fun as hell. What else going on? I'm trying to understand why Nikki Mama was on TV. I didn't get that for the life of me. I was like, Halloween was um we passed Thanksgiving and Halloween is over. So why is the damn first vampire on TV? Okay. Why is the Cullen's great, 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 great grandmama on the damn TV? Like, girl, you need to be somewhere. Bitch, are you looking for people that sell them the true blood? I mean, I need to understand. Are, are who, who Are you the district manager of the vampires or something? You need to be somewhere resting, honey. You need to be somewhere resting before it's not your turn to reign. Okay? And she came out, had the black shit all around her damn edges and shit. She talking. And she talking about she, she was going off on Masika. Um, and that shit was funny as hell. Masika clowned her ass because let me tell you something nana you are not going to win that one because first of all you're too old you are you're not too old but your the age difference from the people on the show was too great for you to be on there arguing with them about bullshit like that you should have played and been a lady and threw your little shade because if you own the shit that she working you should have fired her ass just be like that be like i fired you bitch you ain't gonna work for that no more i don't like you or do some shit like that but you were not supposed to be engaging in that like that. You were not supposed to. And you made Masika drag your ass because she kept talking about grandmama and your, your dad. Man, that shit was funny. It was some lame jokes. But that shit was hitting your ass. You were getting pissed off. And you, and you couldn't get your reads out because you kept telling me, I'll take my clothes off. Girl, as much as Masika's body don't look that much, you know, appeasing, I just don't see you taking your clothes off and looking like a damn fucked up ass um, hen. Okay, that needs to be skinned, okay? Um, what else was going on? Uh, child, VH went through so much shade when they said Young Bird was terminated after they found out that he beat Masika. I guess the shade came in on your ass because you talked all this shit. You talked all this damn shit about da-da-da-da-da and da-da-da. You was going off and da-da-da and you were popping off and you let a little bit of ass munchkin like Young Bird put them hands on your ass. He like a teddy bear beat your ass, girl. You should be feeling sorry. And you know what? And they said they don't condone violence. And Mona Scott just kept on throughout the whole damn reunion. She kept telling people to be quiet and stop doing it, getting security. I was just like, Mona, stop hosting a war show. I mean, not a war show. Stop hosting these reunion shows. Stop. You just don't have it. You you always want to be the controller. And they can't pop off. They can't do anything. Because, girl, you know they ain't going to do too much. They're going to just, ah, da, da, da. But we want to see that. And I don't understand why you don't want them to fight and do all this type of shit. But then you show us that in these damn preview clips for us to watch. So Mona Scott killed that bullshit. That shit was just stupid. And um, Nana, did you have a motherfucking black lip liner? God damn. I didn't understand that. We still wearing black lip liner? Uh, if you're still wearing black lip liner around your lips, baby, this is not 2001, honey. You need to take, wipe that shit off, get you a goddamn bounty napkin, wet that hole, and wipe your lips. That's a fool, honey. That's going to ooh, ooh. What was, but this reunion, was, the first part was boring as hell. Um, I think it was Tierra Marie and them got to fight. And I want to see that. Ray J and Princess, foolish as hell. Um, I can't wait to see Molly Maul. I just don't understand Molly Maul. Molly Maul got on there and he was... I think him and Young Bird are finna have some words, and Mala Mala, like, he don't talk this shit. He's just gonna have your ass motherfucker assassinated. So I'm coming. I, if Young Bird, if I was you, I would be trying to figure, I would try to, you know, find me a damn panic room or some shit. Um, I wouldn't be doing all that type of shit. Uh, what else was going on? I just can't think. It was just, this, this reunion was kind of boring. It was a lot of yelling and hollering and so much hollering and stuff that got on my nerves. Ah! I don't know. It was just, we couldn't understand what the hell was going on. Um, so, you know, Air, uh, Hazel E, you looked at you. I don't know that. I just I'm tired of y'all these wigs. Tierra Marie, your wig was sitting high, and you was about to fight Princess and shit, and you were talking shit. Most Scott told you sit your ass down, but um, your wig was sitting high and sitting sideways, tipping on four four. No, no, no. And I hated it. Hazel E, that blonde wig, let it go. I would rather prefer you to get a black, some some other darker hair because that's just not gonna get it for me. Overall, this reunion was. I, it was all right. It could have been better. I'm glad I went, took my ass to work and didn't miss you. Um, love y'all so much. Follow me on Twitter, Justin Chase 32 Follow me on Instagram, all that type of shit. And I will see y'all for part two reunion. Deuces!